We're in the garage. It's freezing cold and this is Brittany Belt. Behind me is my 1968 Mustang. I named it Blue. Not because of the color, but because it makes me happy, sad, and angry. In this beautiful engine bay, uh, there is a 351 Cleveland that I destroyed. It will eventually be rebuilt and put into something new, but I dropped a valve with it and the motor's just stuck, seized, whatever, and that's why we are on the 50HO rebuild. That will turn into just a regular 302 because we won't be fuel injecting the car yet. Not until the tranny's done, but I haven't started on that and there's things that need to be done. Anyway, let's get into today's video. There is the engine in all of its glory. And you can see that valve just completely destroyed the piston in there. So we're going to jack up the car and then bolt some things. So I've lined up my jack right where that bar is nice and flat for an even lift. We're gonna go ahead and jack up the car. So the car re-jacked up. We will go underneath, find the starter, and start unbolting. So laying underneath the car, we've got the starter at the back that we'll be removing, and then unbolting from the tranny. My ground cable up here. We've got motor mounts around here somewhere. And then the 351 actually has headers instead of just exhaust manifolds, so we'll be taking those out as well. Also, a big shout out to Odelphi for the headlight lamp thing that I've got on my head. I turned it off, but it's got the adaptability to motion with my hand, which is super convenient. And I have two hands now to unbolt everything on the engine. So, let's try and get them unbolted tonight.
We're back under the car. My butt's really cold because I'm laying on the concrete. And this blue line here is going to run to my starter. Right here. What the hell? There's a zip tie. Who the hell zip tied this shit? That can't be safe. Well, okay. Next problem we're gonna have is my goddamn strength. Mm -hmm. That's gone. Yeah. And I'm too lazy to get a longer ratchet. As it's on the way across the yard. Next project. So I'm just rolling around under here. Right? I'm just rolling around. Getting back to work. First of all, this shit's rusted out as fudge. And that doesn't make me happy, but you know, old cars, old things. Um mm -hmm. camera work. There's a spark plug I dropped a while ago. It's big chilling. Sally the spark plug. Huh. Okay, now back to regular scheduled programming. Our next order of business is to get this plate off. That way I can get to the torque converter bolts. Or something like that. It's got some fancy name to it that I don't freaking remember right now, but you know. So I hate to say I give up right now, but I do. Part one is because I have no feeling left in my hands. Two is because my wee little arms cannot freaking get those bolts out of the plate. So we're gonna invest in an impact and go on from there. And so let's go get feeling back into our hands and remember that this is one small step tonight, but it's a big step into the journey of building this car back together. So, I will catch you guys all next week. And remember, dreams don't become a reality unless they're built. Thank you for tuning into this week's video. And make sure to subscribe down below. That way you don't miss the next video that comes out. There's some big news coming. And this motor will hopefully be out before January. If not by January 10th.